how are you my dear students hope everyone is okay and fine in the previous class we also explained about the plant tissue and today i also explain about the animal tissue and our lesson is 2.3.2 in the previous class we have any idea have you any idea about the tissue basically tissue cell is a structural and functional unit of any organisms on the basis of functions and structures in the different organisms it also shows the different ways in the basis down uh, we also explain today the animal tissues there are four types of animal tissues in the previous the previous class we also explain about the plant tissue basically plant tissues are of two types but animal tissues on the basis of multicellular structure we also define that there are four types of tissue first structure is epithelial tissue second is connective tissue third is muscular tissue and the last is the nerve tissue here i also explain the, today the animal tissue first structure is epithelial tissue please everyone open the book and page number 32 what is the epithelial tissue epithelial that means that this tissue functions as the lining of various organs but the function of this tissue is not only to provide a cover of the organs there are four more functions first is the protection of any soft organs basically secretion of waste products third is including protein and absorption of water and nutrients transcellular transport of specific materials the cells of the epithelial tissue lie closely or side by side on a base membrane based on the size of the cell the location of the animal body and the nature of work these types of epithelial tissue basically three types first structure is i also write this squamous epithelial tissue second is the cuboidal epithelial tissue and third is the columnar tissue i just draw first is the squamous tissue very thin liner this structure and example is the um, buccal cavity and also the bowman's capsule first structure squamous epithelial tissue please everyone see the board i just draw the squamous epithelial tissue this structure is very thin and also the first liner is and there is also the nucleus everyone see the book what is the squamous epithelial tissue cells of this tissue are flat like scales and the nucleus is large example one of the bowman's capsules have you any idea about the bowman's capsule i just draw this what is the bowman's capsule here this structure is the bowman's capsule and the second structure is cuboidal epithelial tissue here i also draw the cuboidal epithelial tissue please everyone see the book this structure is white large and length is the equal this structure is cuboidal epithelial tissue okay and the third structure is the columnar epithelial tissue i also draw the columnar epithelial tissue this structure is only this type column shape and also this structure is column shape and this structure is nucleus first structure i also explain squamous tissue now also the cuboidal epithelial tissue cells of this tissue are t cuboidal length wide and height of the cells are nearly equal example collecting tubers of the kidney mainly active in transportation and covering third structure is columnar epithelial tissue here the columnar cells of the tissue are narrow and elongated like a column and structure is example found in the internal wall or intestine or vertebrate mainly active in secretion protection and absorption here 
Another structure is based on the number of the epithelial tissue. First is the nature of the epithelial tissues. Second is the based on the number of epithelial tissue. Here they are also the three types. First structure is simple epithelial tissue. Second is the stratified epithelial tissue. And third is the pseudo epithelial, pseudo stratified epithelial tissue. First is the simple epithelial tissue. I also explain what is the simple epithelial tissue. On the base membrane cells are arranged in a single layer. Example is Bowman's capsule. First the Bowman's capsule, kidney. Second is the stratified epithelial tissue. And the another name is transitional epithelial tissue. Please everyone underline the transitional epithelial tissue. First structure is the Cells are arranged on the basement membrane in more than one layer. There are some stratified epithelial tissues, the layers of which can change in minutes. There are four layers can turn into seven or eight layers in a moment. That is why this structure, the another name is transitional epithelial tissue. And third is the pseudo, that means the lie. It's also Latin words. That means the another structure is lie. Pseudo stratified epithelial tissue. Cells of this tissue are arranged in a single layer or basement membrane. The cells are not all the same height, so this tissue is the stratified. And our third structure is transformed of different functions of this epithelial tissue. They are basically five types. One type is the ciliated epithelial tissue, second is the flagellated epithelial tissue, third is the pseudopodial epithelial tissue, and the fourth is the reproductive epithelial tissue, and last structure is granular epithelial tissue. Dear students, I also explain our first topic and our first tissue's name is the epithelial tissue and another name is the base or linear epithelial tissue. And the second structure is connective epithelial tissue. They are basically three types. First is the uh, connective tissue. First is the blood and the second is the lymph. No. Basically, again I repeat please, connective tissue they are also the three types. First is the flagellated connective tissue. Third is the second is the skeleton connective tissue and third is the fluid connective tissue. First is the fibrous or fiber connective tissues. I also explain our first topic is fibrous connective tissues. They are that this type of connective tissue lies below the body, in the gument and especially in muscles. In the matrix, different types of fibers are visible. Second structure is the uh, second structure is skeletal connective tissue. Basically, they are um, basically two types. First is the cartilage and second is the bones. Third structure is fluid connective tissue. Fluid connective tissue basically two types. First is the blood and second is the lymph. Now, what is the blood? We also have remembered that what is the blood. Blood is the basically blood is type of alkaline, slightly saline, red liquid connective tissues for flowing through the arteries, veins and capillaries. Blood takes part in internal circulation. In warm blooded animals, it maintains body temperature balance. Blood is forms of two components. One component is plasma and second component is corpuscles. First structure, plasma, we also know what this type of plasma is basically yellow color. And the second structure is blood corpuscles. Have you any idea about the blood corpuscles? Basically, they are three types. First type is RBC or another name is erythrocyte or red blood cell. Second is the leukocyte or uh, WBC. 
white blood cell third is the platelets or thrombo thromboplast and our another structure is the lymph please everyone see the books what is the lymph and what's the category of lymph lymph a yellow colored and slightly alkaline liquid stored within the intercellular spaces of the human body is called lymph this is collected by small ducts and forms an independent system and is called the lymphatic system lymph contains lymphatic cells and is also another name is lymphoid cell here the students our second structure or second animal tissue is the connective tissue again i repeat connective tissue basically three types first type is fibrous connective tissue i also explain the fibrous connective tissue second is the skeletal connective tissue there are basically two types cartilage and bones and third structure is the fluid connective tissue here i also explain the fluid connective tissue basically they are two types first is the blood and second is the lymph blood has also the two types one is the plasma and another is the corpuscles now our third structure is muscular muscular tissue and i also explain the muscular tissue growing from the mesoderm have you any idea about the mesoderm i also explain slightly mesoderm here the first structure is ectoderm in the embryo layer first structure is ectoderm second structure is mesoderm basically embryo layer and third is the endoderm so in the mesoderm here also i explain that growing from the mesoderm of the embryo the particular type of tissue capable of contracting and expanding to affect movement and tissue forming the muscles of vertebrate animals is called the muscular tissue basically in the vascular animals or we are main structure is the muscular tissue matrix is nearly absent in muscular tissue muscle cells are delicate elongated and fiber like here i also draw the three types of muscular tissue first structure is voluntary muscular tissue second is the involuntary muscular tissue and third is the cardiac muscular tissue here our first structure is voluntary muscular tissue here i also draw this step first structure is muscular tissue voluntary second is the involuntary muscular tissue and the third is the cardiac muscular tissue here i just draw this that this structure is basically cardiac muscular tissue and there are also three types first is the voluntary muscular tissue please everyone see the book this topic is basically the board exam and very very important topics for your next test exam or the board exam voluntary or striated muscular tissue this can be contracted or expanded at the wall of the animal the cells of the voluntary muscle tissue are tubular in branched and the transverse striate shells there this generally have more than one nucleus i also draw this first structure is the nucleus and the second structure is the microfibril this structure is the microfibril and third structure is the sarcolemma basically voluntary muscular tissue have three structures or three categories first is the nucleus second is the microfibril and third is the sarcolemma our second structure involuntary muscular tissue here i also draw the involuntary muscular tissue here also the nucleus and the, the microfibril very slightly very slightly microfibril structure tissue and also the sarcolemma here see the book involuntary or smooth nucleus muscles 
The contraction and expansion of this muscle tissue does not depend on the will of the animal. This muscle tissue is spindle shaped and faintly branched. Transverse striations are not present. That is why this muscle is called unmarked smooth muscles. Third structure is cardiac. Cardiac muscular tissue, I also the draw this. First structure is nucleus and this structure is intercalated disc and here I also the draw the microfibril. Cardiac muscle. This special type of involuntary muscle that forms the heart of vertebrate animals is called the cardiac muscles. The cells of this muscle tissue are tubular, branched and have transport stations. Between the cells of this tissue, intercalated discs are present. Here I also draw this structure is intercalated disc. It is also a special structure. And the contraction and relaxation of this tissue is not dependent on the will of the animal. That is, the structure of heart muscles is like that the voluntary muscles and the function is like that involuntary muscles. Here, this like also the voluntary muscles but function is also the involuntary muscles. Our last structure is the nerve. Here, I also draw the nerve cell. Basically, nerve cells is another structure is neuron. I draw the neuron, these types of structure. Here I also draw the neuron, this is structure 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and this is structure is the neuron and it's also the dendrite. Here also the nucleus and it's also the axon. Rain we are six. Now, I also explain the neuron of the nerve cells. The particular type of tissue which forms the nervous system is called the nervous tissue. It consists of nervous neurons. It receives stimulus of the environment such as heat, touch, pressure, etc. The nervous tissue can transmit it this stimuli within the body and according to that can make the appropriate response. Here the students, today I just close the chapter 2 and this chapter 2 basically first structure was cell organelles and its structures, second is the plant tissue and third is the animal tissue. Please everyone learn it carefully and attentively. Thank you.